All right, guys, uh, welcome to this week's analysis of the Forex markets. It's been a little while that I recorded one of these videos, I think about four, four weeks ago, but we've been trading, uh, we've been making, making the best out of these charts and also we've been giving out a whole lot of educational materials to people just to share the, the knowledge and information. But yeah, real quickly before, I don't want to take so much of your time, guys. Let me show you what I'm looking at for the week and uh, what had happened before this analysis. So as you know, the, the new day started around here. The new week started around here for DXY. Um, this is DXY, which is the dollar index. And I, I initially had a target here, wanting it to come down from Friday. You know, so finally it did hit my target and then it broke it. I have another target on the game. I believe that DXY should go down a little bit more somehow towards here. Okay. And if that happens, you know that I trade the US dollar. If you've been following me for a while, most of my trades are with US dollars. And if that's the case, I'll be looking at the GBP USD. I want the GBP USD this morning when that trade went down. We did catch this. GBP USD to this uh, resistance here. We're hoping that this will be broken. If this gets broken and this trend line gets broken, we're looking for another buy uh, towards towards here for the week. Those that will be our swing trade setup. So we're looking for a buy towards here. That'll be around uh, 1.316, 1.317 there about, and that's for GBP USD. Also. For this week, we had traded GBP AUD. Uh, we we took the trade earlier, and I closed I closed this trade out because you know when GBP uh, USD had reached like its its resistance, I just closed GBP AUD out. But yeah, you can see GBP AUD is still going nicely. You can see the volume of the buyers. You know there was a little bit of sellers here, but you can see the kind of candle that created. So we're still very much in control. I will be getting back in the buy for this when this resistance gets broken and we'll be buying towards here, 1.86. So that's for GBP AUD. So that's the second pair. Uh, you can put a pending order. You can put a buy stop above here. I don't plan, I plan to make this uh, analysis a little bit, a little bit, uh, shots i don't want to take people's time so much you know but people that want to understand how i mark this chart how i break it down and all of those things feel free to reach out to me and i mean i will let you know what i know and i don't naturally charge for this thing so just allow me and i will see what i can do also you know i've said to you we want you um dxy we're thinking it's gonna fall towards here as its support if that's the case, I believe that this has broken a, a minor resistance. I am looking at 1.82 thereabout as the next target for EURUSD. So I'm looking to buy EURUSD to this spot, this spot. And, uh, you know, we have a, like some psychological resistance around 1.2 thereabout. So well, only if that is broken would I be thinking of 1.2, you know. So, well, yeah, that's it. I uh, towards 1.86 ultimately and then we'll see what happens from there so this yellow line serves as my resistance here it serves as my resistance here for eur usd another pair i will be looking at is nzd usd right for nzd usd i had uh, sold it to this level here i believe that we should begin to rise i want to start buying from above here to this resistance or if this little uh, zone gets broken, I want to buy from around here up until somewhere there. However, right now, uh, price my let me, if I put it in 15 minutes, if I put it in 15 minutes for you to see, price had gotten here, I, I kind of took a buy, I took a small buy around here with a tight stop loss. So if that gets broken, then that means it's, my buy region will be at the base here or from this top here, but I'm already trying to buy from this spot. I want to buy, I want it to break here and then continue all the way up. So uh, that's for NZ the USD. Another pair that we're looking at is the USD card. Okay, let me bring that up.
So I'm looking, I'm looking at is the USD card for the USD card I want to sell and I'm not getting in a sell just yet. And the reason for that is because I see this buying volume coming in. I want to sell from under here down to this, my support level. So if that's the case, I see some reaction. It's going to look something like this. Stops will be just right above this trend line somewhere around there. And yes, that's what we're looking at for the week. It's USD card on a sell if this support is broken. NZD USD on a buy from this resistance or from the support level here. If you want to trade with a tight stop loss, you might you might want to you might you maybe you want to buy from here. You might want to buy from where it is right now and make your stop loss around this. But you can see the candle is dipping. That doesn't mean it's not going because you can see the volume of sellers. Let me check the volume right. Look at the volume of sellers. It was huge here. It gave us this candle. It reduced here. And uh, let's see what kind of uh, volume we're going to have, if it's for the sellers or for the buyers in this next one hour. And that might be one of our decision. Uh, that might be a key decision maker for, for this pair. So that's NZD USD, uh, ER USD. I'm, I'm kind of buying this. I'm buying this with a tight stop loss. I'm buying towards here. Uh, if this gets broken, then we'll wait. We'll wait and see if maybe it's going to contest this area here and then we'll buy back up. But from for now, I'm, I'm in a buy already. I'm in a buy because I believe that uh, my DXY had broken this place. It should come down some more. And then if the US dollar is sinking, then if, if Euro has some strength, then we should, we should buy it. Same thing with the GBP AUD and uh, GBP USD on the buy. So I think that's that. Those are the major pairs that I'm looking at for this week. About one, two, one, two, three, four, five. About five pairs that we'll be looking at. So um, let let me know what you think, guys. Let me know if you find this useful. If you do find it useful, kindly drop a like, comment, share with a friend. Let's know what's going on. Feel free to ask me questions if you got any, and I'll be here to guide you if you do need uh, any assistance guys let's go have a smashing week and don't forget protect your capital don't risk more than you can actually afford to lose have a great week guys we'll catch you later